So if you need to get the fishbowl helmet and the diving apparatus, you want to come to Port Cazard, which is right here. Um, just for reference, that is south of East Ardoin, you'll run down here. And once you get here, you want to speak with Murphy. You'll say go diving, and he'll give you the two items. Nice and easy. Now it doesn't matter where you are, but we're going to use the ectophile to start the quest. Or rather to get to the quest start location. So do that. And by the way, you can equip everything that uh, is equipable that you brought with you if you want to. And head south to the energy barrier. Now head to your east and go to the furthest ship. Cross the gangplank. Right, or sorry, talk to Bill Teach. Speak about rocking out. You want to make your way to this house right here now. You can just use the Port Serim lodestone and then run to your west. Make sure you're wearing the pirate bandana, the shirt, and the leggings for this part. Speak to the customs sergeant. And once you get to the point that he says you're under arrest, that's your goal of this whole part. So again, I'm just going to reiterate. What you want to do is go through the dialogue and try to convince him you're a pirate. If he leaves the conversation, then don't do that dialogue again. But if you do get to one that continues the conversation, then remember that dialogue. Nice and simple. All right, pause here until you guys get to the portion where he says you're under arrest and that you're a pirate. So now you're on to the next part. You need to bank everything, so click on the store locker right here. And bank everything you're holding and um, equipping. Speak with him again. This is a very bright screen. Now you want to shout through the barred window right here. There should be a tin cup on the ground. Pick it up. Use this cup on the door. Use the cup on the door again. And one last time, use the cup on the door. Now you want to right click on the pipes and tap pipes. Now you want to shout through the door until you get a quill, paper, and an ink bottle. Um, you may not get it the first time, so we got it the first time, so nice. Use your quill on the ink bottle, and then use the inky quill on the paper. Write a note to Ralph. Use this note on the barred window. Now you want to search the rubble just outside, should get an accordion.
Shout to the door. This should give you another paper in return. Use the paper on the ink bottle. Then use the ink bottle on the sharp rock outside your cell. This should give you a smash bottle. Now you want to use the smash bottle on the accordion. Use the pipe on the accordion. And then last, use the inky paper on the accordion. This should give you a vacuum pump. Now you want to use your fishy prison uniform top on this perch rock right here. And once a seagull arrives, use the vacuum pump on the perch rock. Now use, or go back into your cell, use the vacuum pump and goal on the barred window. Shout through the barred window. Now head to your east outside, there should be a dock. And dive off the pier. Say so dive. And now just make your way to any bank. Um, I'm gonna put up a list of stuff you need. Once you have all the items, use your Ectofile. Head to the little dock to the northeast and talk to Pirate Pete. Say okay. Head to your west and speak with Captain Brain Death. Talk about rocking out. Now you want to make your way to Port Sarum and you're going to go to the bar right here. Speak with the bartender in here. Ask about rum. Talk to him again. I'll have a drink and you have one too. Talk to him again. I'll have a drink and you have one too. Once again. I'll have a drink and you have one too. Last time. I'll have a drink and you have one too. Talk to him one more time. Sorry, this is the last time. You have to do it five times in total. And after you do it five times in total, so you should have five beers in your inventory, you're gonna go outside. And put on one of the disguises. Head back inside. Ask about rum. And after you go through that dialogue, head back outside. Make sure you go out of the bar. Switch the disguise. Head back inside and speak to the bartender. 
ask about rum. Head back outside. Switch your disguise. And head back in and speak to the bartender. Ask about rum. Head back outside. Switch your disguise to a one you haven't done yet. Head back in and speak to the bartender. Ask about rum. Head back outside, almost done. Switch to a uh, disguise you haven't used yet. Talk to the bartender. Ask about rum. Head back outside. Take off the disguise. And go back in and speak to the bartender. Ask about rum. After you get the order, you want to head to your south. And somewhere out here to the south will be Redbeard Frank. Speak with him. Speak about rocking out. Now you want to use your Ecto file. Head to the little dock to the northeast. I think you can tw quick travel on him. Yeah, so quick travel on him. Head to your west and speak with uh, Captain Braindeath again. Talk about rocking out. Use your Ecto file. Head south and pass through the energy barrier. Then go east all the way to the most eastern ship Cross the gangplank, right click build teach and travel. Cross the gangplank and Brother Tranquility should be just down the ramp, speak with him. Talk about the letter for Frank. You want to head back to Port Sarim now and be right outside the bar where we were earlier. Speak with Redbeard. Speak about rocking out. Use your Ecto file. Head to the northeast dock, right click Pirate Pete and quick travel on him. We'll want to make our all, wow, English. We'll want to make our way south now and you'll climb down one of the ladders over here, or stairs over here. Within this grouping of zombies, there's someone named Captain Donnie. Speak with him. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, make sure you're wearing your pri pirate's clothes, the three pieces, before you talk to him. And you should get plans in return. Head to the north uh, western side where you see a gate. 
Use your charcoal on 50% Luke. Once again, make your way back to Port Sarim and be right here outside the bar. Talk to Redbeard. Speak about rocking out. Use your ecto file. Head south through the barrier. Head all the way east. And you're going to cross the gangplank onto that ship again. Talk to Bill Teach. Speak about rocking out. Right click them and travel. Cross the gangplank. We'll want to just make our way north and you're going to go into the bar looking area the second one not the first one so this little one right here climb up the bamboo ladder once you're inside speak with 50 ships Mufasa Yes, where do I sign up? Speak to Brass Hand Brass Band Harry. You'll wanna take apart each of the broken hands and then use one of the pieces on another. And for this part, what you wanna do is click on one of the pieces and essentially you're just gonna move it over and have it be filling in the hands. Um, this should be pretty self-explanatory. Um, if it's looking like everything is correct, then it's most likely the bottom piece right here that's messing up. And you'll just wanna click the rotate button and it'll flip it to the other side and hopefully that'll fix it. And this is what I was talking about. So it all looks correct right now, but it's most likely this bottom piece that just needs to be rotated to finish it. And there we go. Hopefully that makes sense. Good luck. So once you finish, it'll auto close out of it and we'll go from there. Good luck. After you're done, speak to Brass Hand Harry. Use the brass hand on the ink pad. Then use the inky hand on the paper. Speak to Brass Hand Harry. There you go. For this next part, you need to weigh under 28 kilograms. Um, me right now, I'm 25, so I'm fine. If you do have to bank anything, make sure it's not on the list of items that I told you to have. But you should be fine unless you picked up something incredibly heavy. Um, but after you get all that stuff, you want to head south. And this is where the bank is, by the way. Um, you want to head south, and we're going to go back to Bill Teach on the boat. And once you're here, uh, right click build teach and travel. Cross the gangplank. Put on your ghost speak amulet and go to the south. There should be this ghost captain. Right click and travel. Head kind of north ish and you should see this little dive chain. You wanna put on your fishbowl helmet and your diving apparatus. Dive on the chain. Now once you're down here, you wanna catch a fish called a Karamthulu. It's gonna be the only fish that shows up on your mini map. Um, 
So mine's over here, as you can see on my mini map. Um, and you should right click on it and catch it. Um, shouldn't be too hard to do this part. Just takes a little bit to swim over. After you get the key that it was holding, you want to go make your way onto the ship and click climb up stairs. Open the chest and search it. Climb down the stairs after that. Climb down the ladder. Head to the west and dig the mess. You should get um, an idol from this. So dig the mess again. Take the idol. Use your ecto file. Head south to the energy barrier. Head all the way to the eastern ship now. Cross the gangplank. Talk to Bill Teach. Speak about rocking out. Now you want to make your way to Brimhaven, and more specifically, you want to go to the Agility Arena entrance right here. You can just use the Karamja Lodestone and run a little northeast. Once you're here, speak with Captain Izzy. Rocking out. Once again, we'll want to make our way back to this house right here in Remington. You can use the Port Serum Lodestone and just run a little west. Click on the store locker and deposit everything you have. Talk to the sergeant. Search the bed and you should get a crude lockpick. Use the crude lockpick on your door. Attack and kill a customs officer. This might take a little bit since you have to punch them. Yeah, I'm gonna skip to the end. But once they die, they're gonna drop their outfit, aka their their hat, their top, and their bottom. Put it on. Gonna skip that point though. And as you can see, he dropped the trousers, the shirt, and the hat for me. So equip those three things. Head to this door right here. Climb upstairs. Climb up the stairs to your uh, east. You want to make your way into the door right here. Run around and search the cabinet right here. Yes, Wanda the fish. Talk to the locker officer, you should get a brooch. You'll want to make your way back to Brimhaven, um, where the agility arena is. We were here just earlier. Talk to Captain Izzy, rocking out. And you should get a mark. Now head to any bank. Once you're at the bank, you want to get the four other marks that should be in your bank. Um, you should have Izzy's, Frank's, Brass Hands, Bill Teach, and Brain Death. One more time, you want to head to Remington, to this house right here. You can use the Ports for M Lodestone and run to the west. Talk to the sergeant. He's going to give you a, fol or a file or folder. Use the marks on it. This should put them all into a file. Talk to him again. Talk to him one more time. Search the bed. You should get the crude lockpick again. 
you'll want to use the crude lockpick on your door and again you're going to kill a customs officer and after you kill them you're going to pick up their um, hat top and bottom. I'm going to skip to that point though since this takes a little while. So as I said pick up the trousers, the shirt, and the hat, equip them. Again we're going to open the door and go upstairs. So climb the stairs, climb the stairs, Open the door. Talk to the officer. Open the door and go back downstairs. Climb down the stairs. And go through your uh, jail cell door. Right click and open it. And then shout through the barred window. And this is going to lead to a very long cutscene, which I'm going to speed through. And there you go guys. I hope this helped you out. 